today we got another T section, and we're going to uh, solve for the uh, crack section, moment of inertia, and neutral axis location. Uh, we'll make the area of steel, uh, transformed area of steel, uh, as N times area of steel. And we'll say this is going to be, let's make it uh, 9,000 millimeters squared. So N is 8. 1, 1 times 9,000 millimeters squared. So that's uh, 73,000 millimeters squared. That's the area transform of the steel. Okay, so to solve for the neutral axis, we'll take static moments about the uh, neutral axis which is an unknown we don't we don't know where it is so I'm just going to draw it in uh, here for now it's not going to be to scale but it'll give you an idea of what we're trying to do so this distance here is an unknown it's a C and we'll have to take static moments about this axis and solve for it so the uh, area of this uh, flange is 1200 times 150 times the distance from the neutral axis to the centroid of this flange. And that's going to be C minus 150 over 2 <coughs> plus uh, this portion of the web so that's going to be plus uh, C minus 150. Well, sorry, it's going to be 300 Y first. Times C minus 150 gives me this distance, C. And then minus 150 gives me this. And then times C minus 150 over 2, so squared over 2. And that will equal uh, what's below the axis. So we've calculated the flange, a portion of the web, and now we'll calculate the transformed steel. So that's going to be 73,000 millimeters squared times this distance, which is uh, going to be uh, 600 minus 75, 525 from here to here, minus C, 525 minus C. So we'll solve uh, using the calculator. I have a, a solve function for it. <coughs> so the equation is going to be 1200 times 150. Okay, so we go to uh, time solve. That's uh, 200, no, that was another, okay, that's 203.17. Uh, so C equals two hundred three point one seven millimeters, which is here. And now we can find the uh, inertia. So just to reiterate, this here, this section is is cracked and it's ineffective. What's hatched is above the axis, effective, and below the, the steel. So inertia. I cracked equals well the flange, which is one twelve times the the width of the flange, twelve hundred times one hundred and fifty cubed plus its area, twelve hundred times one fifty times its distance to the neutral axis squared, which would be uh. Uh, um, 203.17 minus half of 150 minus 75 squared and then the uh, small portion of web above the axis that would be 112 times 300 times uh, 
0.17 minus 150. So this distance here is uh, 203.17 minus 150, 53.2. So times 53.2 cubed plus 300 times 53.2 is the area times 53.2 over 2 squared, right? Distance from this centroid to the centroid of the section. And um, let's calculate what these are. So that this first one here, that's going to be uh, 112 times 1200 times 150 cubed plus 1200 times 150 times 203.17 minus 75 squared 3.29 times 10 to the 9 and then the, this uh, portion effective of the web would be 112 times 300 times 53.2 cubed plus 300 times 53.2 times 0.5 times 53.2 squared that's uh, 15.10 times 10 to the 6 millimeters to the 4th and then the, uh, the steel would be uh, 73 a thousand millimeters squared times its distance from here to here minus C. So this distance D is uh, 600 minus 75. 525 minus 203.17 squared 73,000 times 525 minus 203.17 squared <coughs> that's uh, 7.56 times 10 to 9 millimeters to 4 so we can add these up now 3.29 e to the 9th plus 15.1 e to the 6th plus 7.56 e to the 9th that's going to be 10.9 times 10 to the 9th and that's your uh, eye crack the section millimeters to the 4th